Yeah, that's be, you know why? That's because that's what the average researcher gets. They they're paid to do it, right? So they have a budget and some of the researchers, I mean, to do a project, it's you know, the average randomized trial is 3 to 5 years from start to finish. So what does a researcher want to do that? Well, high-end ones, they want a half a million or a million dollars. You know, low-end ones, they want I, I at least want 50 grand a year to do that as my research stipend, right? Mm -hmm. So I come on and I go, I don't want to get paid for it. You know, I don't get paid to do research. I've done 200 papers and I don't get paid. So I do it for me. I do it out of a love and a passion. But I also, you know, I also make money on the other side of the equation mm -hmm. as a clinician and a, as an educator and as somebody that out of research, maybe I develop a product. That I go, well, hey, this product works based on this. Let me. Uh, sell that as a wholesale product to chiropractors. So indirectly I get paid. I have to disclose that, but I don't, I don't get paid to, to do papers. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's not my world. Mm -hmm. And in fact, people have asked me why I don't do that. I don't want to, I, I don't want, don't, I don't want a hundred grand to do a paper because mm -hmm. th then now I'm getting paid for something that was a passion and not, you know, not something that, Oh, I do this cause I make money.